Hello everybody, today we're going to be uh, taking the forms off these concrete countertops uh, that we poured a little bit ago. Um, and then we're going to be uh, trying to polish them up, see how they look. I have no idea if they're going to be bad or good. So here's what they look like right now before I take the forms off. Uh, that one and then that one that's going over the dishwasher. Uh, you can kind of see where the the stone, the exposed stones might, most of them are. This one I'm a little unsure about. This side looks uh, like I maybe I monkeyed with the um, trowel too much. Uh, got a little bit better over here. We'll see what it looks like when I start polishing it up. And then I got some, some sealer, uh, two-part sealer that I'm going to put on it. So let's get at it. Uh, so this is the polisher that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's basically just a car polisher with a um, with just a small uh, pad with replaceable Velcro. Let's see here, there we go. And I got mostly 50 grit. Um, start with 50 grit and then you can go all the way up to I think 3,000 grit but I think I'll mostly be using the coarse grit first That's what we, this is what we got so far. Um, it's not that great. Um, and I'm going to tell you the reason. So I started with, uh, with this cause I bought these, I bought 10 of these and, um, this is the style I used before. It turns out this style is much smoother and easier um, than this style. This style seems to just tear up the countertop, tear it up. And I was able to get a few spots uh, with this, you know, before it's, it's toast now. But I, I got some more of these. Um, but this is what I thought it was going to look like, all the whole thing. But when I use these pads, it just kind of ripped the aggregate right off. So what's gonna, what I'm going to do is uh, mix up some grout with this, uh, with this bonding agent. And we're going to grout the top. And I'm going to use try to swirl in some green also. 
So this might be a good thing. I haven't touched the other, the other small countertop yet. Still un, untouched. So we're going to grout that today. But I think it has some, some potential. Uh, I'm not going to give up on it quite yet. I painted the bonding agent right directly on the top. And I'm also, I'm also mixing the grout uh, with pure bonding agent. I'm going to mix a little green in here and a little gray natural uh, cement color in here. So that's what we're going to do. Sponge it. I think I'm gonna almost stop right there. Because I probably should use the polisher more than uh, sponge. Well, you see, we got our dishwasher still in the box. So I got a Got a set of these original ones that I had that are actually work good. We'll see how it, how much better it is. So here, here's it is, guys. I think uh, I think the small one's turning out a little bit better, or maybe a lot better. Um, I'm going to be able to. I don't know how it's going to be on the big one, but I, on this one, I'm going to be able to see a lot of the small aggregate. It's not chipped out a lot of them, some, but not not a lot. And then um, I am going to regrout this one and then polish it again because it's not. It's not real smooth and it kind of has to be fairly smooth um, before we can seal it. At least all the, you can see, it's definitely not smooth. And uh, also a couple tips, don't do this if you don't want to make a mess. It's super messy. And another tip is, don't go too fast on the buffer, on the polisher, because uh, at least on this one, this gets, if you go too fast, when it gets off center and it kind of wobbles a little bit, it gets more aggressive and it'll be uh, pretty pretty rude with your with your top. So if you can keep it, keep it in the center, it'll, um, it won't be as aggressive. But if you run at full speed, at least on this one, this has a tendency to get off to one side or other. So let's see. I'm running mine two, a little bit over two. I don't know. 
but I was I was running it at max and I noticed you know every now and again I'd this would get off center so turn it down a bit there we go here's this side I'm about to run the polisher on that and see what happens I don't know hopefully I'm not wasting my time here Let's we'll see. So I started uh, polishing after after I grouted this top, and uh, I'm actually very optimistic about how it's going. Um, you can see this part um, with the bonding agent inside. I think that's how it's working. The bonding agent is making the grout a lot stronger. Uh, and it's holding the aggregate in a, a lot better. Like there's a few that chipped out, but overall it's really strong. Uh, so I just now started this. Um, and it's going a lot better than what I thought after the first round. So I'll probably have to grout this again, but I want it, I would like it all to look like this, this part here. But see where the, a lot of that came out, that's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Can't get it back because I, I ground it too much. At, before I grouted it. See this one, this one's gonna turn out really good because I still got a lot of the aggregate. And once I grout that, it'll hold it in. At least that's what I'm thinking. So let's continue. All right, this is what we got so far. This is, um, It's hard to see, but I think it's kind of it's gonna be kind of cool. Um, and after I after I grouted it with the bonding agent in there, I'm not sure if it's the grout that had plasticizer in it, or if it's just the bonding agent. But it made it made the grout really it made the it made the aggregate stay in there very very good. Like it won't chip out now. Um, so I think we're going to get a good, nice, hard surface when we're done. So it might turn out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint this with bonding agent after it, after the, because I wiped it down. And then I'm just going to grout it a few more times where I have some, some spots. And then I'm going to try to, see how flat we can get it. This one I think is gonna turn out really nice um, because I don't have a lot of big spots where I took out a lot of aggregate. I just got, you know, I just grout it to flatten it out and then, um, and then polish it again. Oh, a few things also, well, at least one thing. Um, So, don't ever get this kind. They don't last very long and they're terrible. So, this kind, the kind that looks like this. Uh, let me get the box. Yeah, right here. This is the kind you wanna get. I'm not necessarily this brand, but the ones that look like this. The ones that look like this, they're way better. Um, and I guess this brand is good because I've been using this same, I've been using this same disc. It's the first one and it's still good. They, it just lasts and lasts. So I don't think I'll use but a couple of these 50 grit. And then 
Then I'll go to the, then it goes to 100 grit, 100 grit. Two hundred grit, uh, four hundred, then probably eight hundred, fifteen hundred, and then three thousand. I don't know how high I'll go, but we'll see. So that's where I'm at, guys. Um, I wish I would have done this one first because I would have learned on this one, and then I would have. Um, and then I probably would have done a better job on this side, but but I think it'll be okay still. So this one's gonna be really cool. I painted it with um, bonding agent, and I mixed up the two colors of grout. Got them right here, green, gray. This time, this time I'm not going to sponge it. Let's see how that works. Because I think that kind of took too much grout off. Well, everybody, we uh, we failed on the countertops trying to lift it on. It was um, it was a lot heavier than what we expected. <laughs> And uh, we ended up kind of dropping it on. Our plan was to put it on, set it on these ramps at the top and then lift the boards up and slide the boards on, then pull the boards out. Um, but it wasn't as easy as I had envisioned it and it was too heavy. One person commented that they, um, they install butcher block tops, so I'm gonna um, look into that for that. But um, I might put the concrete piece there because it's small enough that I can lift it up. Um, we tried, super fail. This is what the what the small one looked like. Um, what it probably would have. Well, close to what it would have looked like had I, had I, um, put, I just got it wet, but I didn't put the, um, I didn't seal it or anything. I just didn't want to waste any more time on it. So, um, what we're going to go with is this, um, butcher block top. So... Got a video coming on that, I guess. So a couple things about the failure of the concrete um, countertop. Uh, biggest thing is with that big of a slab, I would definitely do the pour in place kind. You know, I should have put the mold up. Anyway, I should have built the mold um, on top of the countertop and poured it in place. Um, Another thing that I probably did wrong was I did I only had two um, pieces of rebar going along the edge on on both sides, so I don't think it was enough, being that it was a long slab, because um, it cracked when we dropped it too hard on that board. It cracked, and um, it also crumbled on the edge. Uh, another um, thing was maybe I used old I used old sacks of concrete, so maybe that made it not cure as hard. And another person said I used too much water in my mix. I so I don't know if that's it. So anyway, well I, I don't know if I'll ever try a concrete countertop again, but I I kind of had this. Um, this itch to try one, so I don't consider it a waste of time, even if I never try that again. Um, but if I did it again, I would definitely do it different. 
uh, like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to lift a, uh, I'm guessing it was like 400 pounds. Um, I would say it's about 400 pounds what we were trying to lift. And uh, it was just too much. And I just had me and Tao, I should have had like three or four guys lifting that. Um, but I just didn't expect it to be that heavy. Um, I wasn't thinking. Anyways, um, thanks everybody for watching. Um, sorry I couldn't finish the countertop for you guys. Um, but we're doing a, we're doing a, um, different, we're doing a butcher block top this time. I just, I'm just not a big fan of the Formica tops. So, um, I've never tried the butcher blocks tops yet. So that's another thing, um, that I haven't tried yet. All right. Thanks guys.